Okay, so here we try to consider another case, which is similar to the follow-up case for the for this one. So for this one, we try to charge the capacitor from zero to to E. So now we consider we consider if the if the capacitor is already charged uh, VC. Uh, this is VC is already E is already E and then we try to consider the voltage or the current of this circuit and then we try to switch it off because if we if the switch remains uh, uh, short to the to the battery then this voltage uh, remains at E and then there will be no current anymore because uh, the capacitor is already full okay so in in this sense uh, we try to we try to switch it from A to B uh, and then we try to reset the time for T equals zero. We try to switch it from A to B and then now we assume the capacitor is fully charged to a potential uh, or we can call it a V zero. Okay, equal to the EMFE of the battery at a new time uh, t equals zero. So switch S is thrown from A to B so that capacitor can discharge through the resistance. So we will assume that the charge will go, go in this way to the ground. We can also assume this one to, the, to be the ground. Okay, so during the discharge, the current will be like this, will be like this. And then, uh, and the voltage is like this. Okay, so I think it's still uh, assumed that the current is in this direction, so that it is, uh, it is a negative value. And then we try to see how we can derive it. Okay, so here, um, because the switch is already uh, short to the no B, so here the circuit will look like uh, this only. So we don't have the battery anymore because when T is uh, larger than zero, then yeah, the, the battery is open. So it will simply look like this. This is still I. And then uh, we know the initial condition. The initial condition is Vc equals uh, V0 uh, because it specifically de uh, define the potential to be V0, which is nothing the same as E. So yeah, just follow this. Okay, so here Vc, Vc, uh, sorry, Vc of zero. Vc of zero is V0, huh? like this. So this is uh, v, Vc, this is Vc. So uh, actually the same, uh, we have I equals C, D, V, C, D, T as before, because for, yeah, if we consider the current going through the capacitor, maybe I can just put this C on the right side so that you don't mix up. Uh, this is C, this is C, this is the potential difference or the voltage voltage different across the capacitor. So I equals uh, CDV, CDT. Okay, so here, uh, when we try to use the KVL to write an equation, so this time we don't have E anymore because the E is open. So on the left side, we only have zero. And then the voltage across the resistance is nothing but R times I and then plus VC, VC. Okay, so here we can just try to plug in R equals C D V C D T here, so we will get R C D V C D T plus V C. Okay, so we can try to uh, try to divide try to divide R C on both sides, so that it becomes. D V C D T plus uh, one over R C V C equals zero. Okay, like this. 
So actually, you can you can simply uh, observe that. Uh, try to remember this one, and then comparing with this one, comparing it with this one. So on the left side, it is actually the same. It is actually the same. Only the right side difference because uh, here we connect uh, the circuit to the battery, so we have to turn on the right side. And here, because the battery is is, is disconnected. So on the right side, we only have a zero. So we can quickly load that uh, the particular solution is zero. We only have the homogeneous solution. So if you still uh, don't familiar with uh, how to solve the homogeneous solution, I can quickly go through it. So we change the first derivative to s, and then 1 over rc, and then the original function, we change it to 1, to 1, OK? So we will get, uh, sorry, equals 0, equals 0. Then we will get s equals negative 1 over rc. So this is a real, this is a real value. So vc will be nothing but exponential, uh, a times exponential to minus t over rc. Okay, so we don't have particular solution because the right side is zero. So the particular solution is nothing but zero. Okay, so this is already the complete solution. And then we can just plug in the initial value. Vc of zero is v zero, which is a times exponential to negative zero. So this one is one, so which is a. So we know a equals uh, v zero. And in this case, we will get uh, Vc is uh, V0 exponential to negative t over Rc. So this is this is this equation, this equation. And then for the i, for the i we can yeah try to calculate it as i equals C D V C D T. Okay, so in this case, we take the derivative of this one. So c times v0, and then the derivative will be exponential to negative t over rc, and then with the chain rule, we, def uh, we take the derivative of the exponent. So it is uh, negative 1 over rc. Okay, so finally, we can cancel this c with this c. Okay, so finally it becomes uh, negative v0 over r exponential to negative t over rc. So this one is actually the same as this one. Uh, okay. 